It's 2019 and I'm on the road. In the last episode, we revisited Whitecliff and Will Canyon. In this episode, we continue on to Cobar, stopping on the way to sample the goodies at Endo. First of May, 2019. And we're in the Caltagena rest area uh, in the McCulloch Range. It's now 944, we actually left at 938. Had about 15 millimetres of rain overnight, that's what they had back in Wilcannia, and uh, we're only 47k out of Wilcannia, so I said, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I'd say it's probably similar. I opened the door and there was just a sea of water out there. Stepped out hit the mud, just about went ass over kettle. Very, very slippery. Anyway, we're uh, heading on towards Cobar. Still about 230-odd K away, something like that. We'll just take it easy through the day. And if we can find somewhere to stop that's got a much better signal than what we had last night, then that's what we'll do. We've got a hole in the plastic cover above the toilet. I've known about it, but we haven't been anywhere to get it fixed. Except maybe if I think about it in uh, Broken Hill, but the caravan place was closed. Uh, it was to reopen on the Monday that we actually left. So maybe that could have been the answer. Who knows, maybe Cobar. Cobar's a little bit bigger place. Not than... Not than uh, Broken Hill, but certainly bigger than Will Canyon, that's for sure. Okay, see how we go. Well, McCulloch's rest area is only another two kilometres up the road, so there's one back there and one out here. And they're only six or seven kilometres apart. Maybe it's on the other side of the road, we'll see. Yep, it's on the other side of the road, so catering for the people coming the other way. Trailers on the left and campers on the right. There was a tent set up in the middle over there and no cars around it. Or didn't see any push bikes or anything, so... Anyway, these emergency phones I find rather hilarious. Now this one's 500 metres away, why not have it in the rest area, so it's all together. Mind you, there is a tower, communication tower just nearby, so maybe that's the reason why. But you see them out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and there'll be a sign, emergency telephone, 100 kilometres. It's an emergency, you want it now. Anyway, at least they're there, I suppose. Goats off to the right of us there. It's all pretty lush and green out here at the moment. Last night's rain was a follow-up. They had rain a week or two back. So, all bringing the country back to life again. Just hope some of the drought areas are getting some of it. A little rest area coming up, the Baden Park rest area. It's around about 32, 30, or 35, 36, maybe a bit more k's from the, where we were last night.
Yeah, you might be a bit sloppy in there too at the moment. Next rest area is Emdale, which is 14. Okay, we're coming into Emdale. There's fuel, there's a store. I think, yep. Uh, we just might get ourselves a cup of coffee, I think. Dollar sixty-three point nine for something. So M Dale. Let's well, copy take away. Piece of carrot cake. The world famous. Get get that. Emdale world famous carrot cake. Ten bucks for the lot. Five fifty for the coffee. Four fifty for the carrot cake. And there are a few other little specials and that sort of thing there as well. But it being ten thirty six. It's really morning tea, so and I think that's the last of anything sort of in that regard until we get to Cobar. I think. Plenty of rest stops along the way though. And there are emergency phones 45 kilometres and 116 kilometres away. So if you're halfway between those and around about 90 kilometres, too bad. Actually, it's more like 75 kilometres, isn't it? <laughs> so Emdale really is like a little roadside cafe with pumps. Got some tables and chairs set up inside. A guy going full time on the coffee machine. There's someone out in the kitchen. There's a little line of dresses there that I had a look at, but none of them were my size. And uh, there's a rack full of sunglasses. One would assume that it wouldn't be a bad little business, but you've got to run it. Probably they won't serve fuel after hours. So obviously it closes down probably 6 o'clock or something like that, and that's it. And you can't blame them for that. Uh, proceed with caution for the next 12 kilometres, it says, but it doesn't say why. I guess we'll find out. Roadworks, one kilometre ahead, so that'll tell us what it's all about. shoulder is closed for the next 12 kilometres. Okay, so we're down to 40 for road work. That's if anything's happening, but then again the road is up. Probably a bit wet for them to do anything this morning. But if you don't observe the speed limits, you get lumbered, and that's no good.
Well, that carrot cake, it is. It's very nice. There's no doubt about that. Mind you, I did drop it, and uh, after I picked it up off the floor, it was a touch gritty after that, but the essential flavours came through. Road narrows. My God, this road is so bloody rough in places. I just ended up coffee all over me. There's another bloody clean shirt gone. Well, there's another rest area coming up and uh, I think we might pull in there and have a look at the damage that's been done with the coffee all over the white shirt. It's probably about time I changed my trousers, changed my shorts anyway, but... So you can camp in here anyway. Well, we're on our way again. I got the boys out for a ride. He didn't get the message. The rest area just here, Billy Dahl, this one. Yeah, you can get into the back of it. So all of these rest areas along here, you can park up in. If you require internet signal, then you really need to be a lot closer to town. K-Bar is 94 kilometres away. Well, we seem to have that uh, second uh, band of rain that they were talking about on us now. They reckon we're going to rain yesterday and then today. Well, we had yesterday's... Uh, oh, wait a minute, what's today? Wednesday. They reckon it's going to rain today and then tomorrow. Well, we certainly had rain overnight. Is this today's lot coming through at the moment? There's a rest area coming up, and uh, it's a Meadow Glen rest area, and uh, we might take advantage of that again. 500 metres on the left. As I said, was it further on? This has got to be it. She's a bit damp through here. I just want to try and find somewhere to park the van so I don't have to drag heaps of mud in and out. It's 
the hell is that? I don't know what it is, was driving me nuts. Something to do with the engine. Well, time to change off the sub tank. 200.3, at least kilometres. It's a little bit less than what I would have hoped, but still. Thank you. That's all right, sir. Anyway, that's what it is. So we leave the rest area, had some lunch, a couple of sandwiches, a cup of coffee. Wrote up the blog for today so far. Next stop is Cobar, 63 kilometres. Again, it's been a rather uneventful morning if you discount the fact that the toilet access has got a hole in the roof and so therefore the floor was wet and the uh, I stepped outside just about one ass over kettle when I trod on a slippy patch and dropped me carrot cake on the floor and then threw coffee all over myself. Otherwise it's been pretty uneventful morning one way and another. I've certainly had some rain through here because there's a lot of water laying around. Normally it would be that dry that it would have soaked straight in, I would have thought. But it's, uh, there, are, there are pools that are just sitting on top. Goats. There are goats everywhere. You see them in little clumps on the side of the road. Fortunately they're staying off the road. Yeah. Herds of them. The Mount Grenfell Historic Site. Up to the left. Have to look that one up. There's no guarantees the road's going to be open. The problem is they don't shut it down near the main road, they wait until you're halfway along it before they find a section they think, no, we'll close that. It's too late then, you're up there. Coba. Five to two. Busy town. Harvey Norman, this place reverse parks, much better idea, to the left of Burke.
Parisi motorcycles. Now, they could be the people that might be able to do the generator. Okay, two major plans here in Cobar. I'm in for two nights anyway, and I'll decide whether I'm going to stay the other two or not. But looking for someone to service the vehicle, now I don't want to go to Toyota because they'll charge a boy the arm and a leg. So I need to find someone who services vehicles. The other thing I need to do is voting. I've got to find that somehow. Okay, that's the main street down here. Or one of the main streets. Pub over there. Now they're motorcycles. That's no good to me because I've got a generator that needs to be serviced. They've got a pair of bloody heap of them in there too what's more if you enjoyed this video there's over 200 more just like it on this channel subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available if you like this video hit the like button and if you weren't that impressed please don't hit the dislike button instead tell us why so that we can do something about it thanks for watching